kwangu kuishi ni kwa faida yenu maana mambo ambazo nayafanya kwa faida nyinyi kupitia Kristo ni kwa faida yenu so naishi eh, kuishi kwangu kwenye ni Kristo mkeniona mnaona Kristo mkeniona mnaona Kristo mkeniona naona Kristo nikiongea mnamuona Kristo yani anaishi ndani yangu ni Kristo si mimi tena that's where Paul reached lakini kufa kwangu ni bora zaidi maana nitakaa kwa pumziko na Kristo Yesu for me to die is gain i shall be with Christ mm? reigning with him so wangapi wetu hapa una hofu unaogopa kukufa and that's why a lot of people wanaogopa kukufa because what kuna hati mawajatimiza so mbona mimi sina hofu nimegundua katika maandiko kwamba the purposes of god shall preserve me kama makusudi ya bwana aliyonitia yale makusudi nafanya sasa yananihifadhi so ninahifadhiwa katika mchakato wa kutimiza makusudi so i'm not worried that the purposes of god preserve my life i'm preserved preservation means that god provides he sustains he keeps me protects me watches over me Mm, ananipa nguvu ananipa hekima ananipa neema yani ni kwa neema ya bwana i am preserved so that i fulfill mission so kusudi ama makusudi yale ambamo bwana ameniwekea duniani inafanyisha neema ambayo inanifaa kuishi na naishi kulingana na mapenzi ya bwana someone receive this revelation in jesus name shika hii ufunuo shika hii ufunuo kwa bwana sasa mwaka jana kuna umbali umefika labda kuna katika hali ya kufuatilia hatima uliongezewa miezi kumi na mawili ya mwaka jana Twelve of months were added you finish them kuna mali kipindi hicho ulifikishana na bwana so this way you reached now 2022 pia umepoa miezi kumi na mawili na nimesema mwezi mmoja leo ni inaelekea katikati mbaki na miezi kumi na moja na nusu ama miezi eh, miezi 11 na moja na majuma mawili sasa swali ni hii hizi miezi kumi na moja na nusu umepangia kufanyia nini na kama utayatumia utayatumia je utayatumia katika hali ya kutimiza makusudi that you now have 11 and a half months The question is will you use them in fulfilling destiny whatever you be doing with this 11 and a half months are they adding to you realizing destiny or are you out of destiny that's why you must plan the person lazima upange so katika hali za mpango wa kutumpango wako Jesu utatumia miezi hii 11 ni lazima ukafanya kufafanua Uh, you define operation in a higher dimension unafafanua ikitumika katika upeo wa juu ni gani maana mwaka jana kuna upeo ulitumika mwaka huu umesonga mbele kusonga mbele huko ndio tunaita higher dimension yani upeo wa juu so you define it for you what does it mean na mahubiri ya jana nikasema what it means bwana asifiwe and I may need to be defining it over and over so today we are looking at the demands what it demands for you to operate in a higher dimension what does it demand what does it demand inatakikana nini ni nini inatakikana ni nini inatakikana what is the demand on you I meant to live in a higher dimension na leo hii we are zeroing in on enlarging capacity enlarging capacity so what it demands 
for operating in a higher dimension. That's our sermon for today. Demands or what it demands for you operating in a higher dimension. What does it demand? In a takanin, in a kuitaji nin, una paso kuwa na nin, ilu kaweza tumika katika upewa waju. So your operation in a higher dimension has certain demands. And one of the demands that we shall be looking today at is a capacity. So that's what we've called it enlarging capacity. Capacity. So that capacity has two dimensions, spiritual and physical. So if you're a good student, you'll be writing as I give lecture or as I speak it. So it demands capacity. And that capacity must be enlarged. Enlarging capacity. Enlarging capacity. Enlarging capacity. Both spiritual and physical. Sasa, katika we kutimiza na kufanikisha hatima, kuna maali utasimamia, utasimama kwa level flat. Sio level ili ya chini, asa level ya juu. Na level ya juu hiyo utenda kuangalia zaburi, utenda kuangalia zaburi miya moja na saba msari wa ishirini. Msari wa ishirini na tatu. Zaburi miya moja na saba msari wa ishirini na tatu. So utangalia zaburi miya moja na saba msari wa ishirini na tatu. Tuliangalia jana. So kuna hali ambao utaitajika weo kutembe na buwana. So utapangalia mahitaji. Capacity. Jeo. Una uwezo wa kubeba nguvu za Mungu? Je, una uwezo wa kubeba maono ya Bwana? Je, unayo uwezo wa kubeba upako wa Bwana? Do you have the capacity? So that capacity entails physical and spiritual demands. So utahitaji kupanua uwezo wako, kuongeza uwezo wako kubeba neema kila umbali unaenda mtu ambaye anakimbia mbio ya marathon huwa anafanya mazoezi miaka kwa muda sana miezi karibu mwaka mzima m mm, eh, mwanariadha ambaye anakimbia eh, masafa marefu huwa anafanya mazoezi wakati anafanyisha mazoezi nini naendelea na yeye anaongeza ana, ana, anaunda uwezo anajifanyishia uwezo wa kukimbia kilomita 42 kilomita 42 So kukimbia ile mazoezi yanafanya eh, ni kwamba anajifanyishia kuwa na uwezo wa kukimbia umbali huo. So anajenga misuli, analainisha misuli, eh, anajiandaa uwezo wake kupumua, uwezo wake wa kuenenda hewa na oxygen ambayo atatumia kupiga damu ambayo atatumia J itaweza sahimili masafa mbio ya masafa marefu ya kilomita mia, uh, kilomita 42 na hata wewe mtu mkristo wa mwaka huu je una uwezo hizi miezi kumi na moja ya wewe kutumika na Mungu kutimiza makusudi je una uwezo are you able do you have the capacity that the law will fulfill through you the mission and the purpose is ordained for you in the span of this 11 and a half months in this year wana siwe so mtu ka chini mtu ujipima so obvious hatujaishi 2022 hii mwaka hatujaishi na katika mtazamo wa kiungu kama uliomba Mungu Mungu akakupa ruwaza god gave you a vision for 2022 na maono yale umepewa ndio maono ambayo mimi nimeyatumia eh kufanyisha kututangazia maono ama mahudhuri ya mwaka huu so nikisema mwaka huu ni mwaka ambao kuangalia na kutazama yote yale ambayo Mungu ametupangia tutahitaji kuenenda na kutumika katika upeo wa juu kiroho 
So kutumika kule upewa juu ni imetoka e, maana na kile ambacho tumeona itakuwa ya mwaka huu umbali ule ambao tumeona Mungu atatupeleka umbali ule ambao Mungu ametupangia umbali ule ambao Mungu ametukadiria neema ile Mungu ametukadiria ufanishi ule ambao Mungu ametukadiria mwaka huu itahitajika kwamba ndani yetu tuwe na uwezo wa kubeba neema stahiki kubeba hekima inayohitajika kubeba uwezo unaohitajika tunaita kwa kiingereza capacity je ndani yako kuna uwezo we can set back that uh, tune if he's actually not doing as good bwana asifiwe kuna maombeze ambazo utaomba mwaka huu kuna kufunga mbako utafu yani kuna maombeze ambazo utafunga mwaka huu utaomba mwaka huu maombeze ambazo inahitaji mambo fulani vigezo fulani so when i talk of capacity because last year also i talked about capacity and so this year i want to talk about how do you you need to enlarge capacity utahitaji ukapanua uwezo wako ukazidisha uwezo wako you must zidisha uwezo wako lazima uzidisha uwezo wako Mambo yapo utayafanya kama Mungu atakutumia. One uwezo wako utauzidisha kupitia kusoma maandiko. So you must read the Bible. Your capacity is enlarged by you reading the Bible. You enlarge your capacity by reading the Bible. You will not be reading the Bible in the same manner you read it last year. Au tashiki maandiko jinsi ulishiriki verse moja umeruka siku tatu umeruka ah wiki moja umesoma biblia fungu moja tu ya biblia so in one you find that in one week you've only read one chapter of the bible and most of the time you read it when you are in church hmm? you read it when the man of god is preaching is when you also you carry your bible and you read it akimaliza hapo pia umemaliza what you don't know that i also read it at home so lazima mwaka huu ukaji jukumisha kukaa na biblia kukaa na maandiko kuisoma kuitafakari na kuidurusu sawa sawa you must read your word the bible this year read it in depth and read it often read it more you must have a plan ya kushiriki neno na si ya kuisoma moja moja nusu nusu na ruka hapa na pale kuna hiyo pia but you must have a bible plan. Ukristo wangapi wamesoma Biblia? The whole Bible umeshaisoma how many? Umeokoka miaka 20. Je, kuna mwaka umeshaisoma Biblia ukamaliza? Kwa hizo miaka 20 ni mara ngapi umesoma Biblia ukaimaliza? How many Christians? How many of you? You have gone through the word of God from Genesis to Revelation on your own. That's your private study of the bible then kuna hizi za kuhubiri katikati unapata hapo unapata hapo unapata pale but beside that one have you taken time have you challenged yourself hmm? have you um, have you tasked yourself to read this bible from genesis to revelation i'm almost on my to new testament no memaliza This is in the Old Testament sama it is Old Testament it is Old Testament I don't care about the Old Testament so keep on not caring about the Old Testament then myself God will have me preach to you about the Old Testament so the capacity the ingredients for um, the ingredients you need to enlarge your capacity you'll be surprised they also come from the Old testament So lazima mwaka huu Mkristo ujiamulie that one of your achievements you want to achieve this year is to read and study this bible thoroughly and all of it that by the time reach december you finish the entire bible Mwaza Biblia mzima. 
I don't know that this will be my seventh. I think uh, I've done seven Bibles. Basi kikopea, sini chafu ni mechora ndani. So I'll, uh, I'm, I'm unveiling my seventh Bible. Na wewe pia, ka na Biblia. So katika haliyo mwaka huu, you want to enlarge capacity, lazima usome neno. Asubui, how many chapters of the Bible do you study? Jioni, inaeze kanaje, unaeze soma, chochote jioni ukenda kulala. Those who are not married, wala mbao ujaowa, you may have a lot of time. Make the most of the time you have now. Kama ujaowa, mujaoleka. Read the Bible thoroughly. Go through the Bible over and over and over. Seven times. Ten times. Enlarge your capacity. Enlarge your capacity. Katika halio, unaongeza uwezo wako wakiroho. Kubebeshwa na ema. Kuna watu mafuta ya buwana wezi kupea. Mana, wuo kipewa mafuta ya kidigri kidogo sana. Utalipuka. Because hauna capacity. Hauna uwezo. Wuo kikewa mafuta ya uwezo ya kia wata goro goro moja. Mwana wakia mafuta na moto goro goro moja. Utakua ni kama transformer. Utalipuka pa. Choma kila kitu. Hauna uwezo. So mafuta ya kuwa bala ikusaidie. So the best goro kia ndu ni akupea tu tuton tuton. Akupea tu katon moja ya anointing. Yeah, akikugezea ingine atakuwa mekuharibu kini asa haezi fanya na wea mambo fulani kuna mambo haezi fanya na wea maana ndani yaka una uwezi wa kubeba vitu vila ambazo munga ndaka kuweke ndi utimizi na yo hatima so kama utafanikiwa kutimiza hatima na kufanikisha makusudi ambazo buwana mekupangia mwaka huu basi kuna kitu utahitaji kwa mungu kuna naema utahitaji kuna vitu utahitaji. Vitu vile kama mungu atakupatia mana utahitisha. Anaangalia jie ndani yako. Una uwezo wa kuyabeba. Kuna hekima. Jie unaeza kuyibeba. Jie kuna ufunu. Unaeza kuyibeba. Jie kuna uwezo wa kuyastahimili. Kuna moto ambao mungu angetaka kubebeshe. Jie una uwezo wa kubeba moto huo. Kama una uwezo, basi ya amuna vile mungu watakupatia vita ambazo ngekupa, na vile kama vile kama hata kama mekupatia, basi ya utatimiza hatima. So mwaka utaisha tu, utanusia, nusia, kini ufiki. That's very unfortunate. God does not force us to fulfill destiny. Mungu watulazimishi kutimiza hatima. Wala munga lazimishangi mutu kufanyisha, kufanikisha hatima. No. He does not force us to fulfill destiny. But he has given us a will. Hame tupatia hali ya kuamua, uweza wa kuamua. Unaeza amua, ukitaka. Na kama utake pia, unaeza wacha. Lakini kutafika siku ambayo utadaiwa. That's why ushetani, mungu afuzangi wana ambia, odoka hapenda kwa shetani. No. Mimi naweza. Mimi naweza kuambia, ukichoka na yeso, siwende kwa shetani. Dati, mimi naweza kuambia. Lakini mungu afanyangi yo. Lakini miu naza kwa ambia to, ukiona kwa yesu wakuna kitu surudi kwa shetani. Haleluya. Njoo kuna watu natusumbua katika ukulisa, unatusumbua sana. Unatusumbua sana. Nasema, kama kwa yesu mwana una faida, si utoke. Enda duniane ya kwa shetani. Lau tutakutana mbele za buwana siku hiyo. Nasema, baba, wili mubiria. Hali nisumbua mbaka nika I gave up. Nasema, wili, nirusha mikono. So mungu kumna jaji kama na mukumu mungu. Mukumu ya vile utaona. Kita sema mungu hatu naona evidence. Ndiyo hizi. He was very stubborn. So takubiria once, twice, takubembeleza. Hata tuneza kukulazibu. Tuneza kukusukumia ukatae. Uislamu ni unaokoka kwa upanga. Ukiso tunyo sometimes nakubembeleza. Nakambia okoka. Ukikufa kama moja okoka. Unaeza nda motoni. Please get saved. If you don't want, if or if you may not want to get saved for any other reason, but then get saved so that if you die, you go to heaven. So kunawa tuna bemeleza kuokoka. Maga aolego. Hizo ni mechoka nayo. Kuku bemeleza uokoke. Kini uislamu na kuambia uokoka kwa upanga. Ubali, ukubali uislamu ama tukufanya nini? Wakuchinje. Sema. Sema yu majina yao yu. Sama yu za kutu. 
Hmm? Kama mefunda kusema wana kumaliza. Basi si ukristo tunakuambia okoka woye. Okoka woye. Lakini ya afika mali penye kukoka kwa kina kuwa ngumpaka yesu wakasema hivi. Hmm? Yohana tatu kumina ngapi? Kumina saba. John 3, 17 and 18. Let me shock you there. Watu wengi napenda hiyo ya verse number 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. Hmm? Watu napenda hiyo sana kwa jinsi hii munga liupenda ulimwengu. Hmm? Kazi kwa mba kamtoa mwana waki wakipeke ili kila muaminie asiangamie bali awe na uzimu wa milele. Hiyo tunapenda na tumejua kuanzia Sunday School. Narifu tukawachi ya hapo. Mstari wa kumina sabi nasema, For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. 18. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation. That light is come into the world and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light that his deeds may be made manifest that they are wrought in God. So make it so healing. Hana mulango wa tatu, panzi msari wukumina sapa kwa ndama ndiko na sema. Maana mungu haku mtuma mwana ulimwenguni ili au kumu ulimwengu. Bali ulimwengu wakolewe katika yeye. Dio. Kumina nane. Amaminie yeye Haukumiwi. Haukumiwi kamu tamini yesu. Ehe. Asia amini, amekwisha kuhukumiwa. Ndiyo hiyo. Wewe usia amini yesu. Usia amini yesu kawokoka. Tiari umeukumika. Umesha ukumiwa. Ehe. Kwa sababu, hakuli amini china la mwana peke wa mungu. Mm-hmm. Na hii ndiyo hukumu. Ehe. Ya kuwa... Nuru imekuja ulimwenguni hey. na watu wakapenda giza kuliko nuru hey. kwa maana matendo yao mm. yalikuwa maovu mhm mstari wa 20 mhm maana kila mtu atendaye mabaya mm. huichukia nuru mhm wala hachi penye nuru mm. matendo yake yasiche yakakemewa mhm Bali yeye, aitendaye kweli hucha kwenye nuru. Ili mm-hmm. matendo yake, ya wanekane wazi, ya kuwa, ya metendwa katika mungu. Amen. Bwana esa sfiwe. So unawana mambo na imefishika hapo, kuna wakati uneza bembelezo wakoke. Mitafika wakati ya kuna kubembelezo maana hukumu yako hiko. So ni kujitoa kwa hukumu na mutu ujitoa wakati unamukubali yesu ni kujitoa kwa hukumu na jifanya kujitoa. So kuna watu mbao unaweza choka kwa hubiri ya wambia, ah, nimechoka na wewe. Damu yako haiko juu ya nini? Damu yako haiko kwa mikono ya angu ni menawa, na wala hukumu yako haita nikalia kichwani. I'm done. Na vile mamba na inenda hivi, na watu wengi wanadharao wa hali ya ungu, Na wakuso wengi ni kana kwamba wanarudi nyuma. Enalazimika tuwa ubiriani ukweli. Ukiamua barabara hiyo meyamua. Bas. So kuna vitu munga hata kupatia. Kutimeza hatima. So shati kwamba. Uanda ndani yako uwezo. Nafasi ya mungu kutia ndani yako. Yote yale ambao utahitaji neema hiyo. So neema hiyo inakuja katika hali ya hikima fulani. So kuna neema ambayo Mungu anakushikishia kupitia hekima. 
So kuna hekima ambayo unaipata katika hali ya kupewa na Bwana. Ile hali ambayo Bwana amekupatia, amekutunuku, tunasema ni kwa neema ya Bwana. So there is a wisdom that you need. So as your capacity is enlarged, in your enlarging capacity, you must create room for that wisdom. Lazima uandae nafasi ndani yako kwa ajili ya hekima ile ambayo Mungu atakunaemisha nayo. Lazima ukaandaa ndani yako nafasi kwa ajili ya ufahamu ambayo Mungu atakunaemisha ufahamu understanding So ndani yako ukaandaa je una nafasi yoyote umeandaa kwa ajili ya ufahamu ya kiungo ambayo Mungu atakupa Je kuna ndani yako nafasi umetengeza kwa ajili ya ushauri ambayo Mungu atakupatia ushauri wa kiungu kanso Je ndani yako kiroho umeandaa nafasi kwa ajili ya maarifa knowledge ya kiunga mamunga na kupatia Je katika hali ya wewe kuandaa kutafuta kutimiza hatima umeandaa nafasi ili Mungu akutimizie yale ambayo umetaka itimizwe ndani yako kuna kitu Mungu angeweka bali itafaa wewe kutimiza mambo ya mwaka huu this 11 months kuna mambo hautafanya bila hekima ya Bwana kuna mambo hautafanikiwa kutimiza bila ufahamu ya kiroho kuna mambo ambazo mbali utaenenda just for the just for this month only January hii There is something you need. Kuna kitu unahitaji kwa Bwana so that this January you are navigating through. Unapenyeza January hii. Unapenyeza katikati ya mambo mengi pingamizi. Kuna vile wewe unaenenda. All of us know vile nyoka huenenda. That's why Bible says be as wise as a serpent. Mweni wenye hekima kama nyoka. Hekima gani maandiko yanaongelea kumhusu nyoka? Nyoka endange straight. Katika utoto, you know, katika utoto tumefanya mambo na nyoka. Eh? Umwae piga nyoka, ngambia ukimpiga nyoka, ukipiga nyoka mgongoni ama kiunoni. Nyoka hakufi. Bahati mbaya aende hivi amekatika mkia. Gadhabu zile nyoka anayo maana huko mpiga kichwa huko muua ana machungu. Is very the, the serpent is very dangerous at that time. Sumu yake makali yake anaweza fanya madhara popote. So nikajifundisha ukimpiga somewhere ya katikati una paralyze mgongo so hawezi enda. Lakini katika hali anainua kichwa yenye vile anatupa tupa kichwa chake kama ni mwaga utakimbia. Na oleoka kama ni nyoka mbaya anazarusha sumu. So nikajifundisha kulenga shabaha nikituanga na rungu na tuanga kichwa naiponda. Haleluya. So hii nikajifurisha kuhusu hayo. Then nikajifurisha nyoka huwa endange straight. <laughs> nyoka akimbiange straight. Anaenda akipata kizingiti anahepa kizingiti. Akipata kizuizi anahepa kizuizi. So anaenda hivyo. Ndio maana unanga nyoka anaenda katika hali ya kujikunja kunja. So ukiambiwa wewe ni mtu hivi hivi, <laughs> unaambiwa wewe ni mtu nyoka nyoka. Wewe ni mtu mojanja mojanja. Eh wewe ni mtu wa hivi hivi. So kena mtu anakuangalia eh hey, huyo mjamaa huyo <laughs> you know that one is just like and that is a snake that man is a snake is snake snake like So nyoka katika hekima yake atahepa chochote ambacho ni kizuizi ili afike mahali ndaka afike anaenda katika hali ya kuepa vitu fulani vizuizi yani anapenya he navigates So a serpent knows how to navigate. So manika tuambia tuweni na hekima kama ya nyoka ambaye anajua jinsi tuwe kama nyoka ambaye anaweza hepa mambo fulani. Sijasema uwe kama devil, usiwe kama shetani. I'm just borrowing that one because Jesus used it. Be as wise as a serpent. Yaani unaishi katikati ya watu wabaya lakini unajua kuwahepa. Uko katikati yao lakini unajua mipango yao. Umo katikati yao lakini hautaenenda na mipango zao. Uko katikati yao lakini hautafuata mambo yao. Umo katikati yao lakini hautawacha wakumbeze. Uko katikati yao lakini hautawacha wakushawishi. Uko katikati yao lakini hautaruhusu kwamba wakuingiza katika maovu yao. Unakaa eh au waamini 
unakaa na watu lakini uweke imani ndani yao. Hmm? Unakaa na lakini mawasoma sababu una hekima. So tunaishi katikati eh? Sisi ni unaishi katikati ya watu wabaya lakini ubaya wao hautaruhusu ukakuingia. Unahubiri mahubiri katikati ya watu wabaya. Hmm? Wewe ni kondoo katikati ya nani? Katikati ya mbwa mwitu. So lazima ujue vile una behave maana unaweza kukurarua. So nyoka pia ni katika hali hiyo. So hiyo hali yenye nyoka anaenda katika hali hiyo kutafuta barabara iko wapi? Njia iko wapi? Nitapenya namna gani? Ndio kile nimesema ni navigating. You navigate. Unatafuta njia January hii. You are navigating kiroho. Roho yako inatafuta njia nitaweza upate upenyo. Can I get access? Mlango uko wapi? Naweza hepa mambo yapi? How can I reach where I'm reaching in spite of the challenges and the obstacles that come my way? How can I penetrate? That's the wisdom you have. Hata si January hii. Utaita tu January. And some big companies like Safaricom they are prophesying. Nja, January. Nakwambia hii ni nja. January. So they think it, they they are like it is a shame. But it's a prophecy. Utaka nja. So na kuprofesia nja January. So please take me as easy to go pay okoa jazz. To go pay fuliza. Mm, tukufulize na na, na tukufulize na hiyo fuliza yao sababu so, januari ni njaa mingi nikasema mimi siwezi patikana kwa hiyo kitu kino ukichukua <laughs> chukua tu unajua vile utalipa so mwezi wa januari lazima ujue vile utaenenda you spent this january we malize with navigation nitap j can i have my 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 space j kuna hali ambazo naweza jitoa j kuna vile naweza kupenya so katika kupenya kwako january hii kuna kitu unahitaji mungu akuwekee your capacity je kama kuna kitu mungu atakuwekea je una nafasi je una uwezo je kuna nafasi ndani yako ya kuwekewa hekima fulani neema fulani Je, kunayo. So kama Mungu atakuwekea yale ambayo unahitaji January hii ukaweza penyeza, then ndani yako kuwe na nafasi. E, na kama nafasi hiyo ni kidogo, maana ulimalizia mwaka jana, basi na kuna m- vitu Mungu atakuwekea, atakurudishia ile alikupatia, itabidi kuongezea ama kupe nyingine, bae ni sawia na ile lakini kiwango cha juu, higher dimension. So utahitaji ndani yako uwe na nafasi. Kama atakuwekea kilo tano, basi ndani yako uwe na nafasi ya uwezo wa kilo tano ya neema ya Bwana. So your hali enlarging capacity. Kama utajipanua katika hali hiyo, then, then utahitaji kusoma maandiko. You must read the word. Kuna zo vitabu ambazo utasoma. Kuna zamahubiri ambazo utayasikiza. So among us the ones I preach. Among us them ni yale ambao nahubiri. Utajilisha mahubiri over and over. Mwaka jana mamia ya mahubiri ambazo nilihubiri. Ni ngapi umeyasikiza? Umajilisha nini? The more unajilisha mahubiri yale, kuna kupanuka unapanuka. Kuna kupanuka unapanuka. Kuna kupanuka unapanuka ndani. Ile nafasi inayopatikana katika hali yako kujipanua kiroho nafasi hiyo ndiko Mungu anaongeza nini kuna kitu anakuwekea chenye anakuwekea ni kile ambacho utahitaji mwendo huu wa miezi 11 sawa na umenipata so kuna mchango ambao kusoma maandiko itakufanyishia unakaa biblia kalamu na mahubiri mahubiri ya jana mimi niliasikiza mpaka nasikia ai na kana kalamu na kitabu na sema mambo hayo nikajipata naandika tu mambo 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 kwa mahubiri ya, ya Wednesday. So napata ujumbe mmoja inajizalisha jumbe zingine nyingi. So ikanichochea ndani yangu sana. Sembuse wewe. You study the word. Sikiza mahubiri alafu unakuwa na mahubiri penye unaweza post sema simamia hapo then unaandika andika vitu vingemesikia compare biblia unaangalia biblia then unaweka mahubiri unasema onyango go on 
Then onyango go on. Tena naendelea kuhubiri. Then unasikiza kitu ambacho roho bwana akwambia, sikia hapo na ushikie hapo. Pause. Then unarudia tena backwards. Una rewind. Ambia onyango come again. So unasikia onyango tena akuja tena kuhubiri. Sasa ni onyango lakini roho wa bwana anakunenea kunipitia kwa mhubiri yale. Then unaandika mambo mengi. So unasikiza mahubiri moja baada nyingine leo unasikia nimesema mahubiri haya shikanishi na mahubiri fulani then unaenda katika mtandao unaangalia mahubiri mengine mengi unajilisha na pia unajifungulia capacity then una compare na mahubiri eh, unaandika notes sema mimi najitathmini katika hali hii na ile najitia kwenye mizani najikagua kagua je ninatosha ama sitoshi je nina uwezo ama sina lakini shida wakristo wengi wanapenda kuombewa niombe hii na hii niombe hii na hii niombe hii na hii we kuna mambo ambazo mwenyewe utajiombea kuna mali nitakusaidia lakini Mungu pia anaangalia je ni hadi lini utategemea kuombewa maana mtu ambaye uombewa ombewa 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 hmm? atakosa misuli za kiroho ambazo mwenyewe anaweza pigana majito fulani So siku adui atakupata na <laughs> mwenye anakuombea hayuko. Sababu kila mara ukiona adui, utakwambia nitaambia baba yangu. So nakimbia kwa baba yako, baba, unataka kunipiga? Baba, ule nataka kunipiga. Baba yako anangudo maambie, "Hey." So mwa kusema, "Oh, mkimbia kwa baba yako." Anasema, "Sawa." Ako na baba yake, acha tampata siku ana baba yake. So mwa kuna watoto ambao ni wachokozi na wana modomo na wajibu kupigana. <laughs> wanatusi wengine na wanaji wana ma, wana kelele wakitishwa kidogo pia baba tabia baba yangu baba baba watu wale wanataka kunipiga wale baba yako anatoka na vest na ana nataka kupiga mtoto wangu kuna siku baba yako hatakuwa kuna siku baba yako ameenda safari alafu wewe waone barabara gani utapita barabara ni unataka kupita ni barabara ya wale watoto pia wanakungojea sasa utakosa kwenda barabara hiyo because baba yako hayuko. So sio nakupiga ngoto baba yako hayuko hapa. Nitaambia baba yangu ambie ako wapi leo. Ako wapi leo. So that's how some people are bullied by, by the devil. Shetani anakufutia, anakudhulumu tu. Na kupiga kichwa pu. <laughs> Na kupiga kile pu. <laughs> so you are being tossed by the devil. Sema dance to the right. Dance to the left. Bow down. Up. Kuna watu mashetani na wafanya hivyo. <laughs> ano nyango mako ching, utapitia wapi? Ile misuli ninayo, hey. pepa mbaya tatumwa kuja area yangu. Sema unanituma wapi shetani? God for kwa onyango. Enda kabla naye. Sema a. Ah. <laughs> Ungenituma ah. mali pengine sio kwa ule. So unapata umehesanywa wewe. Ambe tunataka watu ambao wanaenda kwa onyango kuja ni huko. Walter Road Rivers <laughs> kwa onyango kwa unyango hapana watu wanajikusanya kusanya hapo na wazo in school mali penye mwalimu anauliza eh, kwa hiyo group awan sa people who can uh, will do such and such and task ndaka watu ambao watafanya kazi fulani waza kuna watu nasukuma na nyuma si mimi si mimi si mimi pia mimi najua kuna mashetani wakiambua leo mnaenda revelation wisdom ministries ule mtu anasumbua ufalme wa giza sana anatusumbua sana eh anasema ndaka nichukue watu wa pepo fulani hapa ambao mapepo ambao mtaenda kule majemadari ambao mtaenda kule wanaanza wana, wana kurudi nyuma rivers <laughs> waonyango piga rivers i pray that wewe pia uko mike roho ambapo mashetani wakitumwa kwa wanasema a a hata wakitumwa waambie shetani ndio tutaenda lakini wapige tu kona juu wanajua kikuja line yako we ni hatari bana sasa fiwe So hatari hii ya kuombewa ombewa. I mean kuombewa ombewa ina hatari yake. Kuna mambo tutakuombea, kuna mambo tutasimama na wewe tusaidiane. Kuna mambo tutakuombea kwa niaba lakini tunatarajia kwamba kando na sisi ama mimi kukuombea kuna kubalehe kiroho kuna hali wewe pia unajikusanyia neema so that just in case kuna level yako ya kupigana utapigana bila onyango kufanya nini bila onyango kuwa involved that means you've matured 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So katika maombezi kuna elimu unahitaji. Kuna mambo unahitaji. So even in your prayer there are dimensions of prayer that demands your knowledge of scripture in depth. So kuna hali ya maombezi ambayo itatoka maana na ufahamu wako wa maandiko unaofunuo kiasi gani. Because Satan is not uh, does not fear kelele. Eh, ndio maana maombi ya kelele mingi na nduru nyingi hajaifukuza shetani otherwise lejo Maria wote maombi yake kumeshafukuza mashetani wote Kenya. Watu wa dini za ADC na ngoma wanatoa pepo mpaka na ngoma. Pepo ngekao ameshaenda. Kwa hiyo kelele peke yake hata unaweza ondoka area hiyo. Dini za elija musambwa. Pepa ngakuwa amesha enda. Lakini bwana wajaenda, shetani ya tishwi na kelele hizo. Kama utamtishi shetani, hata sio kumtisha utamweza. <laughs> Hii, unachomoa marisasi mbili peke yake, mbili tu, mbili tu kwa maandiko unalipua moja na ngine ya kumsindikiza amalizia na kuzimu. Risasi zile unatoa hapa. So lazima maombi yako una ufunuo. Bwana asifiwe. Unaposoma maandiko, unachomoa vitu vile una, unapata ufahamu wa yale ambazo Mungu anataka ujue kwa ajili ya mwaka huu. Kwa ajili ya 2022. There is something you extract. There is a revelation you grasp. There is a knowledge you lay hold on. That will be very necessary in your pursuit of this man's agenda in pursuing destiny. Mana kuna maombi utafanya kutoka maana na kile umefunuliwa kwa maandiko. So kama ombi yako ni kelele tu ah Leo nasema okay hiyo ni lalaba tuta lala tu kimeza kuomba utatutamuka kuna hata mimi naomba mpaka chini nasema eh 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 sema la 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 shetani mpaka anafanya mano meet na maombi yako ni tamu kwake po ukimaliza nakwambia nisaidie kulala po na mazi na in the name of jesus mama lala na eh i've been over i've come to pesha lafu When you wake up naambia uliona nini which vision did you see? Unaona tu giza. Only so darkness. I say hey. The devil took you for company. Naambia eh. Hey, let's sleep. You are hollow. Hauna kitu hapa. Lakini mwezi huu ingia kwa maandiko. Soma maandiko kuna mambo unatoa they inform your prayer kuna mambo unatoa kuna ufahamu unapata kuna maarifa unapata eh kuna zufunuo ambazo unayapata they happen large your capacity zinafanya una unaongezeka yani ndani yako unatengeneza njia unatengeneza nafasi maana kuna kiketi mungu anataka aweke unaunda nafasi maana kuna kitanda mungu anataka aweke unaunda nafasi maybe kuna dining set mungu anataka aweke maybe kuna library ndani yako mungu anataka aweke maybe kuna fridge ndani yako mungu anataka aweke kwa mfano imagine ndio kwamba wewe ni nyumba so unataka ongezewe wa furniture au unataka kubadilishwe furniture mungu anasema toa hiyo nyingine nataka nikuwekee mpya kwa mfano Then prayer kuna maombezi ambazo utayaomba to enlarge your capacity. Maomba hayo utahitaji ufunge chakula. They need that you fast your food. Prayers that are prayers that are hmm, that are that are that are fortified with fasting. Prayers that have been fortified with fasting. Maombi ambazo zinatiwa nguvu pia na kufunga chakula. So kando na maandiko kando na ma, kusoma maandiko then unajumuisha pia kufunga chakula na kuyaombea you are enlarging capacity unaongeza kiwango ndio maana hizi madhehebu na madini ambazo zinawaambia usifunge chakula mm, Yesu alifunga chakula 40 days for you kama ndio kanisa yako 
<laughs> Tutakutana mbele za Mungu. Maana kuna vitu ambazo Mungu atakupea. Ha? Madhehebu ambazo zimedanganya zimechangia uzembe wa wa Kristo. Madhehebu mengi na watimishi wengi wamechangia wakristo kuwa wazembe, <laughs> wazembe wa kiroho. Mwanaona tu mwili, alafu kiroho na lala tu. Ndio maana mnatishwa na waganga. Mganga <laughs> nakwambia usijenge hapa. Mimi nitakumaliza. He, mtu anahama nyumba, sitaki mambo na waganga. Nimeenda. Sasa kuna wakristo wengi ambao wako wa Yesu ni bwana lakini wanaogopa uchawi. Yesu ni bwana lakini uchawi nao unatoroka. Yesu ni bwana. Laibon unaogopa. <laughs> Yesu wako huyu kama anashindwa na Laibon. Your capacity so kuna mambo ambazo kama Mungu atakufanyishia na kwa ajili ya maenda mbele zake kwa maombi ya kufunga chakula na unazo siri ambazo ni funuo mayaondoa kwa maandiko hapa Bwana asiwe Hiyo ndio Ukristo ambao naamini Huo ndio Ukristo ambao ninaamini Huo ndio Ukristo ambao mimi ninaamini Enye alie ndani yangu ni mkuu sana kumliko alie duniani. 1 John 4:4. 4. Walako kwanza Yohana 4 mstari wa 4. Bwana anasema msiogope enyi watoto wadogo. Kwa maana alie ndani yenu ni mkuu sana kuliko alie humu nje duniani. If you came to church focus on the altar. If you want to go out step out to sell what you want to sort. Umefika hapo na zasoma. Mana nimesha ikariri katika kiswahili. Waranga wapanzo wa Yohana, mlango wa ine, mstari wa ine, mm. maandika na sema. Hey. Ninyi, watoto wadogo, mm. matokana na mungu, nanyi mumewashinda. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu yeye alie ndani yenu ni mungu kuliko yeye Alie katika dunia. So maandiki na tukumusha kwa mba enyi watoto ambao metoka mana na mungu. Nyingi ni washindi. You little children. Hmm? Who have come from God. Born of God. You are nurtured in God. You have overcome him. Mume mshinda shetan. Maana ye alie ndani yenyu. Ye ni mku sana kumuliko Alia dunian. For greater is he that lives in you than him that be in the world. So in the world we have who? In the world we have men. We have the devil and his kahoots. Dunian into na shetani na waku wake. If you basi usiogope. Mana alia ndani yako ni mkuu. So huyu alia ndani yako. Have you created room for him? So kiwa na huyo. Leo nambio na mganga utahama hapa. <laughs> Wapi. I went to one village to pray in one village linda kwa hii boma ya in somewhere in Sia ya Bondo. But a uh, area moja, muta moja, all women are afflicted with one sickness. Mugu. All of them wame, wame shetani ya mwapooza mugu. So everybody akona shida ya mugu. Shida ya mugu. Shida ya mugu. We went there for a mission. And just in one, one uh, residence, one, one home. Then the neighbors, the neighbors who came, all of them made a common oppression. So I said, ah, I just dealt with the principality in the air. Shika baba yao. Na kungoa hei madarakane. Kuhu deal with the principality in that area. Kamba kumbe kuna wengine ambao wanapoza migu na wajakuja. Hawa ni sempuli ya wachashi ambao wamekuja. So ha, dealing with this problem unaza huwa waganga kama 20. Sema kuliko waganga 20 wakufe. Just deal with the source. Mali ngu zao ziko. We dealt with the principality. Na watu waliponyo wa migu. <laughs> Water. Testimonies followed. Lakini watu hao kami kipatikana mmoja hao. Mmoja watu hao. Ama watu wangi patika na wala ambao, wanajua kristo wanaishi ndani yetu. 
na kama anaishi ndani yetu basi amna nguvu za uganga ushirikina ama uchawi inayoweza kutuangamiza walakini unapata watu hawa ni wafuasi wa madhehebu zinginezo ambazo mahubiri kuhusu kufunga chakula maombi ya kufunga chakula ah Yesu alitumalizia so kuna level ya upako ambao huwezi kutembea kuna viwango vya mafuta ambazo hauwezi tembea na kama utatembea katika viwango vile vya mafuta kuna za ushindi za za kiroho ambazo hauwezani nazo hautazipata because kuna kitu Mungu atakuwekea maana atakuwekea ile mradi una moto inawaka ndani yako there is some fire kuna moto ambao nitakana unawaka mkristo ambaye anafunga chakula na kuomba huwa kuna moto ambao amewakisha ndani yake na hiyo moto inapowaka waka ndani yako kuna vitambazo Mungu anashukisha kuna vitu Mungu anakushikishia kwa ajili una moto wa kuweza kuyastahimili. Unayabeba na moto, unayabeba na joto ya kiroho, unayabeba na uzito wa kiroho utapewa. Kama ya kuambia waganga, eh hey, muganga, I am unbeachable. I am unwitchable. I am indestructible by your power. So leo wako kama uko kanisa kanisa ama wewe ni wa dhahabu ambao unasemanga ai Yesu alitumalizia msalabani he finished everything plus praying and fasting why should i pray for today Jesus prayed for us let me live the fullness of life ndio maana hapa kanisani kuna eh i've counseled what from close to a thousand churches Yeah. In a span of a uh, uh, span of how many years now? Plus why Islam? Why don't go why there are things ambazo they could have sorted kuna mambo ambazo wangeweza kujisaidia kama kanisa zao ungefundishwa uzito wa maombi ya kufunga chakula na una mesho unasoma maandiko. Dazo kama ni kusambao unafunga chakula na usome maandiko. Wewe ni sawa na shetani sababu shetani pia anafunga chakula na anajaza tu hasira. When you don't read the Bible, hmm? you are an activist. Wakristo ambao anafunga chakula lakini wasome maandiko, wewe si Mkristo, you are just an activist. Kama yule activist ambao tunamjua anajifunga minyororo mingi, anasema mimi sijitoe hapa, I'll shall die here on shall die because of hunger until the constitution is changed. Kajifunga minyororo kwa git. Sijui ni anyayo hao sasa ni wapi? Simu limuona. Sijui anaitonga nani. Mkristo ambao anafunga chakula na usome maandiko wewe ni sawa na yeye. I demand my rights. Shetani la kucheka sema mayo. <laughs> Uya kuf ala aki akuli. Wa. Wewe na unafanya drama kwa mashetani. Unakuja mpaka unasema ukipiga nduru. Sema mayo mayo. Au pia unasema mayo mayo. Sema I demand my rights. Shetani pia anakuambia I demand my rights. Wana kuimitate. Sema freedom. Shetani apenda kusaidia maroa na maroa za kishetani anakuambia, "Yes, freedom." Hawa songi mahali. Baba naomba, pia unasema baba tunaomba. Wako na wewe hapo. You are not shaking them. Maana hauna hata chemecheme moja ya maandiko. If that's the first thing you are planning, please drop out. Kama ndio kufunga na funga chakula, please. Enda tafute ugali na omena, rarua. <laughs> Tafuta ndarama kula. <laughs> eh? tafuta na matumbo ishi baisha ya kawaida because utana utakuwa na konda bure na na mbele za bwana Mungu nilikuomba nikafunga siku saba sijakula chochote Mungu hujanepea kitu mwenye atakuja hapo kujibu ni obelsi booth so kama unafunga hapa tuna wacha kujifanya wewe ni muislamu waislamu wana wana wanafunga alafu natonyesha show Unabeba unga nyingi wanapanga kwa barabara pea 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 pea. Hakuna kufunga hakuna maandiko wanasoma. So why please soja kujidanganya. Kufunga ambako usome maandiko there is no capacity to enlarging. You are just creating a lot of uh, a lot of appetite to eat afterwards. Maana kama kuna kitu Mungu atakuaminia siri zile atakuaminia atapitishia maandiko atapitishia kwa maandiko ufunuo 
So atakuambia kwamba haiwezekani wewe wakurogwa na mchawi kakushika. Maana mimi naye ishi ndani yako ninadumu na nina uwezo mimi ni mkuu sana. So katika maombi ambayo unafunga kuomba, ambia Bwana niwekee moto. Kuna hekima na kuwekea. Kuna ujasiri na kuwekea. Kuna uwezo na kuwekezea kwamba hata ukipingwa au pingiki. So what have you done? Una enlarged capacity ya kuwekea vitu ndani yako unafungua nafasi kuna manyumba unafungua ndani yako kuna visima unafungua ndani yako ambazo zinaikiwa nyimbo kuna mashetani unawashinda tu na nyimbo ambao unaimba you just sing a song unapima hizo nyimbo kama hizo malaika wa Mungu anaingia katika warfare <laughs> wanaharibu maeneo kwa ajili yako kazo unasema mimi naimba kwa ndimi so when i sing katika ndimi eh, hata sijui ni sanga wapi naimba na sikio tu imekuja that means kumbe kuna kitu ambayo roho yangu ina inatumika kufanya. So ndani yangu waina nilikuwa na kati nilifunga 54 days. Nikaamua kuongeza siku zile tatu juu, 57 days. I don't know why. So I think ya kuongezea nilikuta siku moja tu niko naimba ndimi. Naongea ndimi na cheka kwa ndimi na zungumza ndimi na tabiri kwa ndimi. Mm, nikagundua hey, nilianza suga then nikapiga hesabu. Fasting years 57 days. Kuna kitu Mungu alinipea kanipatia uwezo wa kuimba kwa ndimi. Nilitamani uwezo wa kuimba singing in tongues. Nilikuwa nauliza Mungu, nilikuwa natamani for years. Kumbe ndani yangu sikuwa nimeona nafasi ya hiyo. Hiyo sikuwa nimeona nafasi. So there are gifts that God gives you because of capacity you create. Ah, nilikuwa na toma maandiko na tafuta. Ah. I almost gave up so when I got into fasting kumbe ile maombi nilikuwa naomba kuna mali ilifika kazindikiza na kufunga chakula So it is there So hicho kisema kiko Kama asingi yoka tumeunia nafasi ni wapi Mungu angeiweka So when we fast tunajifungua tuna kwa tunafunga chakula tunaunda hiyo nafasi Haleluya Haleluya Ingia kwa kufunga chakula that's why mwa tuna ngia katika hali hiyo hata taifa la Kenya kuna maombezi ambazo lazima wa Kenya waombezi waingie katika hali ya maandiko na kuomba maombi ambazo na inenda na mafungu ya maandiko ufunuo ambazo wamezipata tunamwambia bwana Mungu sasa Kenya hii Mungu hmm? ukituacha tuchague rais ambaye ni wa hukumu sasa Mungu tena tuende na mambo yale yalitokea katika uchaguzi zilizopita. Ah Mungu. Lafu naambia Mungu Mungu neno lako lasema kwamba mm, ikiwa watu wako wanaoitanishwa na jina lako kama watakutafuta uso wako katika hali ya kunyenyekea na wakatubu madhambi yao. Mm? Kunyenyekea kule kwa kufunga chakula kwa kujinyima mambo wakatafuta uso wako Mungu umesema kwamba utawajibu maombi yao maana wewe ni mwaminifu. Haleluya. So kuna mambo naomba na hali ya kukumbusha Mungu Mungu your word. Wewe Mungu ambaye unatimiza ahadi you watch as over your word and performs covenant even over thousand generations. Mambo hayo unayatoa hapa. Sikile nazo mbele za mwanambia Mungu si ulisema na Mungu sulisema mtu mwenye haki japo ana ana, ana, ana matatizo mengi anazo shida nyingi ana, ma, ana hali ambazo anazanguka mara mwingi many are the afflictions of the righteous lakini wewe Mungu utamuondoa katika hali hizo zote kama Mungu wewe ni baba mtoto mm? wako akikuomba mm? kama baba wa duniani wa kawaida japo si wa baba wa kiungu wakiomba mtoto akiwaomba mkate Hawa, wa baba kama hao japo ni waovu hawapiani mawe ni mkate unapeana mtoto wake yomba kiomba samaki baba hao japo ni waovu hawapiani nyoka wanapeana samaki how much more you are father of all spirits shall not shall you not do as much better and much more so nenda mbele za Mungu na maombi ya nini ya ufunuo sasa mwefunga chakula na kuna vitu unatoa ukiomba nazo. Capacity. Sasa wewe uliyekuwa na hali hiyo mwaka jana, 
Sasa unahitaji Mungu akupatie some some more akuongezee neema akuzidishie hekima akupe na wewe ufahamu kuna hali ambazo Mungu akufanyishie ili kwamba yale ambazo akatimiza na wewe mwaka huu labda kuna kitu itahitaji on top of what you got last year so that you are able to fulfill the destiny has ordained for you in this span so kuna sehemu ambayo katika hatima yako kuna sehemu ambayo utatembea na Mungu timize so that you don't re- you don't retrogress you progress so you unahitaji mm, the hali ambayo wewe hautatelezwa nyuma badala yake you are able to move a, a little bit forward a little more forward you advance further So kuna umbali mwaka huu utajiongezea. Kuna mahali kiroho ukafika mwaka huu. Kuna mambo Mungu afanye na wewe so as you fulfill destiny. So vitu hivi ambazo Mungu atataka ufanyishe inahitaji vitu inahitaji neema fulani. Hiyo neema inahitaji unde nafasi. That's why you must fast and pray. Now the ingredients you need to know they are in the word. So you must meditate in this word. Bwana siwe. Mambo mengine ambayo tutafanya tu enhance your capacity, to enlarge your capacity ni ushirika na Roho Mtakatifu. Another thing you need to do it dis- demanded of you another demand demanded of you. Hmm? Uh, under capacity enlargement what you need to do to enlarge your capacity is communion fellowship with the holy ghost ushirika na roho mtakatifu kuna wakati nilipenda wimbo huo wa huyo mwimbaji ninataka ushirika na wewe roho wa bwana that i desire fellowship with you holy ghost ushirika na roho mtakatifu mimi kama sina roho mtakatifu there's nothing i can do kuna siku niambia bwana kama roho wako mtakatifu amenikaukia please i want to come home Naona watu wanakuja hapa wakikuja kwa manabii bandia wanangoja waona vile nitaweka watu mafuta anointing eh wanangoja waona watu wenye nitawatemea mate <laughs> ndio uone nguvu za Mungu wengine wanangoja kukanyagwa eh wengine wanangoja wanaona kama pia mimi napiananga maji here i only have one thing holy spirit akiniondokea kazi yangu duniani imeisha Kuna watu nakujanga hapo na jana wamejazwa roho mtakatifu. Naangalia naona eh hey, hii roho mtakatifu ya wapi? Unapimwa naangalia hii ya 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 ya. This is familiar spirit. Una roho roho za utambuzi. So kuna makanisa ambapo watu wamejazwa roho za utambuzi. Ukiwa na roho utambuzi, utaongea ndimi na utalala na wanawake wenyewe. Utaongea ndimi na pia utakuwa unakubaliana na waganga. Utaongea ndimi lakini pia unaweza ua. Huyo sio roho mtakatifu. So they have entered here na hizo roho. Kusema eh? Nasikia ndimi yenye nasikia nasikia eh. So nikapewa kipawa na Bwana, kipawa kimoja anambia Bwana, mimi nataka unisaidie ile unipe hali ya kutoa hizo vipawa za kishetani zenye watu wanazo. Ili kupewa hizo vipawa nilifunga chakula kwa na kuomba na kutafuta kwa maandiko. So kiingia ukapa na uko na zile roho zenye <laughs> roho ambayo una, una confusion za wazo ni roho mtakatifu. Unajua hapa tunazitoa tu. I just speak thanks kidogo mbili tatu. Naambia bwana, kuna mtu ameingia hapa na roho hii ni gushi. Confirm confirm. Ni kweli ama si kweli? Uta manifest hapo style nyingine yenye inasema ndio hii pepo mwenyewe. Nakwambia katika jina la Yesu hii roho wewe ni mchafu. Toka. 
So kuna kitu Mungu ameniwekea kwa ajili ya kutimiza hatima. So kuna kufunga mbako lazima nikae katika hali ya kutempendeza Roho Mtakatifu ili karama zile zinafanya kazi. So kuna watu ambao wakikuja hapa na roho hizo gushi. Mimi nimekaa nayo kwa miaka ngapi? Umedanganya watu wangapi? Chetina amekutumia kuharibu watu wangapi? Sasa leo ndio mara ya mwisho. Tunazitoa. Hizo ni maroa ambazo manabii bado wanatumia Nairobi na kufilisi watu pesa. Zile tu wamechana jua kama wangenijua ningeingia kwa hizo makanisa kama mshirika wa kawaida. Shaiki kama naingia kama andateka, naingia kama <laughs> you are a mall. Yo kushaingia kule. Sema baba niko hapa operation code 1, code 2, code 4. Tulikiingia kanisa kama hiyo na dinner the real man. Ambe baba hapa mbinu gani natumia? Una kama tana na zile roho, eh? Roho za utambuzi. Hmm? Roho ambazo zinatumika na mafuta ya the beast na the false prophet. But because tuna kazi mingi ya kufanya, we have to seek for ways ya kudeal na wala ambao na kujaria hizi. So unapata watu kama wawu na roo mdakatifu ndani yako unatishu na vitu zingine unatishika. The Lord will help you in Jesus name. Buwana kusaidia, hallelujah. Maena ambao unaishi, zile ufunua ambazo majijaza. Neema hile buwana mekuweka, majini watahamba area. Kasa wa kristo wengi, hmm? we ni mkristo alafu majini na kutesa. Mkristo wako wako wapi? Kuna kitu ahuna. We ni mkristo. Jini, kiumbe ambacho ni munga. Yani jini, kiumbe. Hakuna. We are the creation of God. Sisi tumeumbwa na kristo. Na Power ya yeye asiye umbwa. Mungu haja umbwa. He is the uncreated God. He is an uncreated God. If Bible says he dwells in us. And the Bible has and says that greater is he. Who lives in us than the enemy who lives in the world. Sasa kiumbe ambacho kili umbwa. Ambacho ni shetani. Kishetani ni kiumbe. Ni roho alia umbwa. Hana uwezo juu yako. So some of us you need to go fasting so that this revelation sink in you. So nengia fasting diyo ufuno hizi zika zama dani yako ziyone. Really? There are things ambazo I can preach now. But your understanding is so slow. That man is a man of deep mysteries. I don't understand him. Let me look for preachers who speak what I can understand. You shall be on their level. You shall just be at their level. Takwa kwa hastani wao. Chenyo na ubiri yu ndo level yako. Sama huu mubiri ambaya na anaubiri mamba ambazo di zime zina kina sana. Mambo sisi yelewi. Ah. Chantafutia hula ambao anaubiri mamba ambazo na jua A, B, C, D. Chela rea dek. These ones I know. Njata ni kiongea. Kuna watu kiongea ndi mata chetana na jua umesema nini. Wana ndi mizinyo naongea ni zao. Kiri, kiri, kiri. Chela na jua umesema lili. Mana ni yao. Kiri, kiri, kiri. Ni yao. Kilo kigia fasting. Kuna vitu munga na za kupatia. Ambia tu unaongia vitu ambazo chena na seba. Masema. Reba babo siki ya antu seba. Wanaangalua na seba. Amesema tuende Bosnia. Pepa na kibia Bosnia. Na Bosnia ni mbali. Akira kule. Onyanga mege Nairobi. Na maliza mambo Nairobi. Shatani anambua. Oh. Uka wapi? Baba yetu. Anambua, anasema, niko Bosnia, niko Bosnia. Ambia onyango, ameingiza watu wake mainewa haya ya Nairobi. Kuna haribika. Sama, hey, sinisikia na sema chude Bosnia. Ambia, please, Lucifer, toka uko. Kuja Nairobi ya raka sana, kuna chomeka. Nime angaisha shetani Kenya hii. Sabu, one thing Satan does not have. He's not omnipresent. Satan can only be in one place at one given time. The only thing that he excels in kwamba is demons and was spread kila mahali. But he himself, he can only be at one place at a time. So kuna vitu zingine ambazo, he, nambiwa, he, sema kama onyango anenda Bosnia, hata mimi ni menda Bosnia. Po, si Bosnia nilienda, ni Nairobi nilienda. 
kina alisikia ndime zenye niliongea sema po amesema ni Bosnia <laughs> so ndakana naongea ndime zina ambazo shetani na ulimwengu wake unakaa confused hata kiwezekana amesha mashetani wake waende Bosnia just that Bosnia ni kidogo sana mashetani wote hawezi toshia Bosnia and that's what some people need to do you confuse the kingdom of darkness by the tongues of the holy ghost hallelujah ingia fasting umekula ugali na umekula ugali 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 nile kumea ijamea please yaambia kwa vile ulikataa kumea kaa hapo kwanza eh miezi tatu hii sikutaki sasa leo na wasaidi yangu usifikiri kwamba there is a mystery about me ni pawa ya Mungu na Mungu amempata nafasi ya kuweka vitu zake ndani yangu. Ampata nafasi ya kuwekeza neema ndani yangu. So wewe kama utafutangi Mungu itabidi unakuja kunyenyekea ili uitishe hiyo vitu. So eh yeah, Danieli 11:32 Inasemaje? Eh, nisomee sehemu ya B. Danieli 11:32 Some sehemu ya B, sehemu ya B. Na watu wale wamjua Mungu wao watafanya nini? And the people that know their God shall be strong and they shall do exploits. Kitabu cha Danieli mlango wa 11 mstari wa 32 maandiko yanasema B. B. Mhm. Na watu wa mji wao Mungu wao watafanyika hodari na watu Amen. hao watatenda mambo makuu. Nimekusomea. 33. Soma A pekee. Inaendelea. Eh. Lakini watu wa mji wao Mungu wao watakuwa hodari na kutenda mambo makuu. Mhm. Na hao walio wenye hekima katika watu watafundisha wengi hata hipo wataanguka kwa upanga nimesema ah amen bala siwe na watu wa mjua wa Mungu wao watafanyika nini hodari na matokeo ya wao kufanyika hodari hmm? ni kwamba watatenda mambo makuu full stop Alafu 33 part A. Ndio nikasema 33 sehemu ya A, rudia A. Na ma, A ni A usiduke uende B. Mm. Kitabu cha Danieli mnakojua ni hapo. Amen. <laughs> na mbili A. Sema na wao wafanyao maofu juu ya hilo agano atawapotosha kwa maneno ya kujipendekeza baba babu yantu si baba peleka huyo shule Salatilla <laughs> tatu a Amen Inasema eh. na hao walio wenye hekima katika watu mm. watafundisha wengi, wengi na wale walio na hekima haleluya kati kati ya watu watu wale ambao wana hekima watu wale ambao wana ufahamu watu walio busara watafanyika kuwashauri watu wengi unaweza keti amen siwe and them that have understanding they shall counsel they shall advise many So where do you get that understanding? Unapata wapi hiyo ufahamu? Katika wewe kumtafuta Bwana. So tumepewa siri katika Danieli 11:31 ngapi? 32 sehemu ya ba. Hmm? Kwamba na wale wana, wana wamefanya kumjua Mungu wao. Umezama katika kumjua Mungu. You have grown in the knowledge of your God. You've grown in that knowledge of God. You acquire strength unafanyisha kuongezeka nguvu na kwa hodari kisha utatenda mambo makuu mambo makuu ndio mambo ambayo yafanya mwaka huu fanya mambo makuu fanya matendo makuu fanya ishara zilizokuu tumika na Bwana katika hali ya ukuu enda mbali na Bwana 
kile ambacho imefanikiwa kiroho itakuwa na dhihirisho lake pia kiasilia what you have achieved spiritually will have physical manifestation so if you shall be a counselor an advisor an instructor of many then is because you have acquired understanding that's that 3e bwana sasiwe utafanya kuwashauri watu wengi maana kuna ufahamu nao na ufahamu huo ndio unaotafuta when you are praying and fasting when you are searching the scriptures hmm? when now you have the fellowship with the holy ghost so unafanya ushirika na roho wa bwana nataka ushirika na wewe ewe roho i think something like that hmm? there are times and nipenda nyimbo za huyo mwimbaji kabla hajashusha viwango kitambo kabla hajashusha viwango alikuwa mzuri sana nyimbo zake zilikuwa na upako eh fika mali kasikia ai huyo mwimbaji alirusha ambao na randa mbali sana atakasahau mali <laughs> zikasema po awera go kuna nyimbo ambazo ukizisikiza <laughs> unabaki wewe unasisimuka tu akiimba unaangalia urembo wake hairstyle yake mavazi yake eh ndo unasisimuka nayo eh miondoko zake nikasema baba nisaidie kadhi kama tabro lal nikiendelea hivi nitapotea nisaidie baba na alinisaidia so he's not she's not among us my favorites uh, gospel ministers anymore if you want to revive jo tafute mali pa kutafuta mm. haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe ushirika na roho mtakatifu na kuambia hamna kitu kitamu kama kuwa na ushirika wa roho mtakatifu akikuja unajuanga eh yani akianza ku manifest yeti akikuja huwa yuko na wewe so akitikisa mambo fulani so kufunga chakula kuna zao vishima ndani yako ambazo unapofanya ushirika na roho mtakatifu vinafunguka funguka nyingine iko na singing in tongues nyingine iko na kuomba in tongues nyingine iko na kutabiri in tongues nyingine iko na kuongea mazungumzo in tongues kuna wakati unaongea na bwana unaomba mpaka unasikia ah sasa muombe tena mnaongea na si ya kubandika unajua unaweza bandika maombi ya tongues bora ufukuze angalie ni wana wao imeisha una unasukuma tongues nyingine ambazo haziko hata kwa library ya biguli <laughs> unaangalia saa hizi tu wana wa yetu Ndio kuna ndimi zinyo zaongea mpaka mashe, mashetani na galiala. Hey, amesema mambo yetu. He, sili yetu. Because the tongues you speak. Ni ndimi ambazo aziko kwa library ya binguni. Sema ai, maana ongee, ongee, ongee. Kotire, kotire, kotire. Hakuna. Ah, uh, my intercessors what in any fasting katika jina la Yesu na please beba biblia hata kwa ofisi kama uelewe chora hapo na kalamu yenye kundu ambie isielewe sana roho mtakatifu nisaidie ushirika na roho mtakatifu ukianza okay, ushirika na yeye unazama unaoga unasikia vizuri sana in fact unasikia so wonderful kuna mali kuna wakati nitafuta roho wa bwana kama natembea na yeye so nikasikia kuna mali lazima niende niingie kanambia sasa kuingia hapo kambi roho wa bwana sasa nisipoingia tutakuwaja kanambia wewe ingia mimi hapo sitaki kuingia sitaki kuingia ilikuwa ni mali ambamo itwa ilikuwa ni sakati kuna nuka mikojo alafu ndani kuna yani sakati moja za kutana watu wabaya kuna kuna pombe ni sakati ya lakini kuna fundi ya kwenda niundia tv <laughs> ikawa lazima nienda hapo. Nikasema kwa bwana nagura kuingia. Mm. Yaani umekoka uwepo mpaka roho bwana akwambia usiende pale. So nikaenda kashina sasa huyu na mtu mwenye ako pale ajajaza roho. So nitaongea na mimi naye pale. Nikafanya kuingia, nilikuwa nikajilazimisha kuingia. Roho bwana na, nasikia amehuzunika. Lakini mimi nimeingia pale. Nasikia kule ni kuchafu. Nasikia kule ni kuchafu sana. Na nikamaliziwa tu nikaambia ni pevi zangu niondoke. Hata kama hujamaliza ni pe. Maana unasikia unahitaji uwepo wa Bwana, utaki kuhuzunisha Roho Mtakatifu. So wakati nilikuwa pale nikasikia ile uchafu Roho Bwana alikuwa anakataa, nisingivu na nitaziona. 
Sasa unaziona. Unajisi. Ukitembea na roho bwana umejaza upako sana watu watajua. Utaonekana kumbe wewe uko na kitu. Macho yako yanamulika zaidi ya paka. Una macho yanamulika. Ah, ngapo mbona paka usiku? Hata kama kuna tocho na miale yake. Sasa yako inamulika mchana. Mchana unamulika uso mzima hata sasa si macho. Yaani uso wako wote na kichwa inamulika mulika. Na si yombe na imanga roho amulika. Roho anamulika. <laughs> roho anamulika. Please, nataka watu mwanze kumulika. Bwana asifiwe. Tukishia imba hiyo wimbo roho anamulika. Haleluya. Sasa kichwa chako kianze kumulika. Mulika, mulika. Mulika na roho mulika. Unamulika kila mahali. Kini kuna watu ambao sale roho anamtaka kwa mulika. Mapepe na watoa. <laughs> Hatutaki umulike. Hatutaki umulike. So unapata mashitani zinamulikwa zinaondoka zenyewe. Na sababu tunaondoka na mtu wetu. Ndaka uwe na ushirika na roo mdakatifu. Na hiyo inawezekana wakati unasoma maandiko na umezama katika kufunga. Utapata roho. Mbwana asfiwe. Hallelujah. So kuna mambo januari hii. Ambazo ile safari ya hati makambu taenenda kuna 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 vitu na hitaji vya tamani sana. Mwaja wapo ni kutembea kwa roo mdakatifu. So the more unazama kwa roho mdakatifu na ushirika wako na roho mdakatifu hmm? ndani yako kuna zosiri ambazo unafunuliwa na, na Bwana. Roho Bwana akwambia sasa hii mali tunaenda utafanya hivi na hivi. Huduma hii umbali ambao tunamefika ni roho mdakatifu. That's why sijajali sana mambo na ujenzi. Nimejali sana kujenga watu roho zao ufunuo kwa Bwana. So sometimes zipo japo na mzigo wa hema. Hmm? Lakini kilicho bora zaidi ni ujenzi wa nyumba ya Mungu ndani yako. Haleluya. Yeah, this building Mungu anaza bariki tu mtu mmoja aijenge peke yake. Sema the uh, 50 million tajenga hii kanisa peke yangu. Milioni 50 na najenga peke yake. 100 million mtu mmoja tu atumike na ajenga amalize cause of the sanctuary hmm. sasa mimi nimefanya ku, kujenga watu kijenga watu na wajengeke kwa neema ya Bwana watapata ufunuo wa jinsi ya kuijenga nyumba ya Bwana haleluya bebesho mizigo na wao na ufunuo za kifedha wafanye kitu tu kidogo wanaingia katika hali za utajiri mkubwa utajiri wao na kujenga nyumba ya Bwana So what if nianze kusema mimi sasa size wacha sita tuanze kujenga nyumba ya Bwana ndio tuhubiri ndio vile makanisa zingine zi lose direction wameamua kujenga ma, kujenga magorofa kujenga majengo at the expense ya kujenga roho za watu inawezekana ujenge majengo at the same time ujenge roho za watu lakini Biblia inasema tuache kujenga roho za watu mbala yake tujenge majengo ya ya mawe ya watu kuabudu ndani so haijasema tuache kujenga watu. Kuna wapate kuna makanisa zimewacha eh mrengo wa kujenga ama ama mwito wa kujenga watu kiroho wamechukilia mwito wa kujenga jengo la asilia. You miss it tu pambao. So capacity yako unaijenga katika hali ya ushirika na roho mtakatifu. Kingine ambacho utahitaji ni ushirika wa waumini ama waaminio. Ushirika wa waaminio. Fellowship of believers. Na hiyo fellowship of believers, believers ndio maana tunakuwa na cell group meetings. Tunakuwa na mahubiri ya, ya, ya kila Jumapili tunakuwa na kesha hmm? tunakuwa na kutembeana manyumbani unakuwa na ushirika na waumini ukijitenga wewe peke yako so waumini gani unaungana na wao ni kina nani je una watu wenye imani kama yako je unapatana watu ambao wanaamini kile unaamini 
Je, una watu ambao kila wanaamini ndio unaamini. Ukipatana na wao imani yako inachochewa. Kwa Hebrewia 10:25. Hebrews 10 verse number 25. Inatuambia kwamba na tusifanye tusifanye kupuuza ile hali ya kukongamana kwa ushirika na walio waumini. Haleluya. So kama ni mkristo ambaye you say ah mimi ni mkristo private. I'm a private Christian. Sitakangi watu. I don't want kwenda kwa nyumba za watu. Na mimi pia sitaki watu wakuja kwangu. I'm just private. Ikienda kanisani na ondoka tu. I'm just private. Ka private. Na ukufa private. Na wende biguni private. Utashanga. Kisuli na samaje sayamu hiyo. Kitampu cha waebrania. Mwanangu wa 10 mstari wa 25 maandika inasema mm. wala tusiache kukusanyika pamoja mm. kama ilivyo desturi ya wengine mhm bali tuonyane mhm na kusiti kufanya hivyo mm. kwa kadri mwanavo siku ile kuwa inakaribia ndio haleluya so tuna onywa tusikuwe tusiwe na tabia Hmm? ya kujiweka private kujitenga kando kwamba atakuji ushirika hatutaki watu you will be doing yourself a great disservice utakuwa unajaribia maana kuna eh, capacity ama uwezo wako ambao unapanuka tu katika hali za nini hali za wewe kwenda kwa ushirika katika ushirika hmm? Kuna joto ya waumini wa wengine ambao utaishika. Kuna joto ya kiroho utapata. Kuna joto ya kiroho utapata. Kuna yo joto ya kiroho ambao utapata. Dazo wala ambao natufuatile kwa mtandao wakiwa inchi zinginezo ambazo wana washirika. Wana connect kwa mtandao wetu. Na wanafanya masada kazao katika hali hiyo. They are connecting to the fellowship. So unakuwa na washirika ya waumini the fellowship fellowship with the body of believers so you don't miss Sunday service so msimu wa kufunga chakula eh msasa siendi kanisani eh nimechoka please jikokote na hiyo kuna wakati niliamua nilikuwa na sikia bibili mnahubiri hao wanahubiri biblia gani hii na hii biblia yenye nahubiri ni gani naona nasikia wahubiri vile wanahubiri miaka ile ya 90s Eh. Hey. Uh, Dan the late Reverend Dan of Diambo. <laughs> May the Lord remember him. He's one of the obiri ambao mahubiri yao. But they mahubiri yake mengine sijui. I only had his two preachings, only two. Bili tu. Na ilinibadilisha. I say God. If I ever preach I want to preach like this. Ali ito one ali ito kanisani mwetu where I was a young a young man and the reverend Dan of the Ambo kahubiri. Hey. I had never met a fiery preacher. Preacher by mother about he you have no apology for anybody and for anything. Nika sema hi ndio moto nataka but it took me 10 years badai kupata hiyo moto. It took me some 10 to 20 years badai. Nika sikia hi Kumpe the revelation ambayo natembea. You were 20 years apart. Ile ufunua ambayo alikuwa natembea katika ufunua ule. Ni ufunua ambayo tulikuwa temepitana na ye miaka 20. It took me 20 years. Forgot to have it. Pa. <coughs> Bwana yasa tukuzwe. Bwana Yesu atukuzwe. Hallelujah. Mhm. Ufuno. So ushirika unahitaji ushirika ya watu wa umini. Ukikaa na wao kuna joto unapokea. Naelekea kumaliza. So please don't fidget. Usitie shaka ushirika ya waumini fellowship of believers 
corporate anointing utakufaa sana sasa nasaidia capacity yako kuji uwezo wako kuongezeka kuzidi 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 unafunda nafasi kisha kitu kingine ambacho lazima ukazingatia ili uwezo wako ukapanuka hmm? ni hii worship sifa sifa za Bwana Some of you may just need to sink deeper in worship. Wewe unafuno wa sifa. Kama ujiuliza Daudi, that's why sing read the book of Psalms. Soma za buri yote. The easiest book to read is the book of Psalms. Ndio kitabu rahisi sana kukisoma. Zaburi. Anza na sura ya kwanza, umaze na sura ya moja na sabuni na ngapi? Sura ya moja na hamsini. Uh, kule Utajif, utakuwa na hali ya visima vya sifa kufunguka ndani yako kingine ni ushuhuda uwe na ushuhuda uwe mtu wa ushuhuda testimonies testimonies the man wa kristo ambao anamunga na kufanya mambo lakini ushuhudie you can never enlarge your capacity nikishuhudia watajua mimi nilikuwa na ukimwe nikishuhudia watajua mimi kumbe nilikuwa na kahaba wewe nikishashuhudia wajua kumbe mimi nilikuwa na hivyo so unaona sasa zile umepokea muujiza wa Bwana alafu nakataka kushuhudia number one, wewe ni muizi number two, umeke kwa mtego wa dhambi ya nini umeke kwa mtego wa dhambi ya kujiamini So you are a robber of God's glory when you don't testify of what God has done for you. You are wicked when you move. Why because you are wicked one. Maana ukurudi kwa Yesu ushuhudie. Watu kumi waliponywa ukoma. Na ni mmoja tu alimudia Yesu. Yesu akauliza na je, si mlikuwa watu kumi? Kwa nani wengine wako wapi? Yesu aliwaweka katika orodha ya watu waovu wale tisa. Mungu akutendee jambo hata kama ni kidogo tafuta nafasi ya kushuhudia. Sumbuana sana. Kanai. Ji. Kanai ataandika makaratasi mengi. Have a testimony. Ndiono na makasa mengi Kenya wananga nafasi za ushuhuda. <laughs> Mungu atusamehe. So when you don't testify you're a robber of God's glory. And you're treated as a thief. Wewe ni unakuwa treated as a thief. In fact you're not an ordinary thief you are an extraordinary thief More than a thief you are an extraordinary robber an common robber you are an extraordinary robber You are a, you are no robbing money you are robbing people God you are mwizi in fact you are a robber of God because you are eating his glory Bwana akasema and I shall sh- no share my glory with anyone Sita shiriki utukufu wangu na mtu yote lakini sasa unaye wanafanya kuiba utukufu wa Bwana. Wewe wa Mungu atadili na wewe katika hali tofauti. Number one, kuna vita utapewa. But wakati wewe unashiriki shuhuda za Bwana, matendo za Bwana, ukuu wa Bwana, kuna mambo Mungu anakuwekea na kupea. You have large capacity. More anointing. More favors of God. More greatness of God. Shuhuda za Bwana so watu kama washinda vita maana katika katika ufunuo 12 11 maandiko yasema kwamba na walimshinda ibilisi kwa nini walimshinda kwa damu ya mwana kondo they overcame him by the blood of the lamp and two they also overcame him by the by the word by the word of their testimony and thirdly they overcame him by the fact that they never live their lives they never love their lives in this world kisole ni samaje sema hiyo kama umepata kama hujapata usisome ufunuo ufunuo 12 11 ah hapo amepata so acha nisoge mbele na walimshinda ibilisi kwa hali kwamba mm, walimshinda 
kwa damu ya mwana kondoo pili na walimshinda pia katika neno la ushuhuda wao tatu hawakupenda maisha yao hapa duniani yani waliishi maisha ya kutojipenda wala kupenda anasa duniani they never love their lives unto death bwana asifiwe so neno la ushuhuda so what is your testimony aya mambo mengine ambazo inasaidia wewe kufanyisha eh kupanua nafasi yako kiroho enlarging your capacity uwezo wako kiroho ni kesha ibada za kesha kuhudhuria kesha Luka sita msara wa 12 maandiko yasema na jinsi ilivyokuwa desturi yake Yesu jinsi ilivyokuwa desturi yake Yesu jinsi ilivyokuwa desturi yake Yesu kwamba alikesha mlimani haleluya alikesha mlimani so ukisoma Luka sita 12 tuambie ilivyokuwa desturi yake Yesu Kristo alienda mlimani na kule mlimani alikesha usiku mzima kwa maombezi so it was the custom of Jesus that Luke 6 verse number 12 he traveled in prayer the whole night so what was Jesus doing he was enlarging his capacity enlarging his capacity enlarging his capacity so when we come for kesha sio kwamba hatuwezi sio kwamba kuna mambo ya kufanya you forgo kulala kwako you come for kesha So Mkristo kweli lazima ufanye nini? Ukeshe. So watu wale ambao wanasema ah Yesu alikesha kwa ajili yetu sote. Sasa kuna haja tukeshe. Haya, kuna neema hamuna. Sawa so, na wanasema Yesu aliomba na kufunga kwa ajili ya sisi sote. So I mean so overnight keshes, overnight prayers. They will help enlarge your capacity. That includes lunch hours and morning glories. Lunch hours and morning glories you attend them. Bwana siwe. Then alizawa kwenda mission kufanya evangelism going out for missions. They help enlarge your capacity. Enda misheni bisha milango za watu shiriki neno na wao. Na kujitoa kwa msaada, kujitoa kama msaada kwa watu, kujitoa kama msaada kwa kazi ya Mungu. Giving yourself to the cause of God. You give yourself you give one hour two hours to the house of God to the things of God you enlarge capacity Hallelujah That capacity that is enlarged kuna vitu ambazo utabeba kutoka kwa Bwana Sacrifice help enlarge capacity sacrifices Dabihu We bring the sacrifice of praise unto the lord our god we bring the sacrifice of praise so tunaita kwa bwana sifa dabiu ya sifa so kuna dabiu za sifa dabiu za sifa dabiu za nini eh sasa dabiu gani unaleta dabiu ya pesa dabiu ya matoleo you give yourself as a sacrifice so bring so njia moja wapo ambayo una enlarge capacity is by bringing your sacrifice And the Lord help you. Let me stop there for the purpose ya kuendeleza mahubiri haya sehemu hii of our next lunch hour. Bwana asifiwe. We've tackled capacity just a part of it. Capacity. Let's be continuing with the word capacity. It's just one demand. There are quite a number ziko nyingi ambazo tutakuwa na washirikisha capacity. Na tumewashia mali pa dhabihu. So tutakuwa tunaangalia zingine kama masadaka, matoleo. Hmm? wingilisti kutembelea wagonjwa wa hospitali kutembelea watu gerezani kutembelea wazee children's homes kuwatembelea watoto mayatima kuwatembelea wajane hmm? kuna kitu tunafanya enlarging capacity kusaidia watu masikini hmm? enlarging your capacity our father this is your word we've shared and i'm grateful to you god of the heaven I'm praying that thou mighty father be glorified be exalted may you father grant the lord there be a performance of your word in our lives the lord in us my father god there'll be creating of capacity i pray the lord this word my father as you have heard of it lord as you heard it 
May it work in us a quest, a longing, and a desire, and a zeal for capacity. Bless you, Jesus. I pray for those who have followed us, those who are listening, those who are hearing. The Lord, you work it in them, my Father, as early as now, that they may create, may they make room, Lord, by enlarging capacity, so that you may deposit in them what it takes and what is needful as an ingredient in them, my Lord, pursuing, Lord, after fulfilling destiny. For this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. To Simama Mbele Zabwana. Na baba yiku pen.